Hey guys, I've just wrapped up my Pilates class for the night and I'm feeling pretty tired and pretty overwhelmed and I just wanted to send you this message because it's a really challenging time in the world right now, especially if you're a private practice owner and you're in the NDIS space and there's a lot going on. Um, this is a message of compassion, to have compassion for yourselves, to have compassion for other people. And this is a particularly difficult time in the world. As I record this message, we are in the midst of a postal survey on, which is asking whether we think people who, in, should, if we should have marriage equality. Um, and it's asking everyday Australians whether they think we should, yes or no. This is a particular difficult time and it makes me particularly angry that we have to have this survey to ask people their opinion on something that doesn't affect everyone in Australia or they don't may not realize that it affects them that it brings in all sorts of um, personal opinions that aren't based necessarily on uh, fact that on either side of the debate, um, you know, my my opinion, I'm in an inclusive business. I have friends who uh, are same-sex attracted. Uh, I have, you know, friends that would love to get married to their partners. I think I have a lot of clients that uh, are gay or may be gay and may want to have these experiences but they can't even talk about it because they are just not being offered the words because a lot of my clients rely on others to give them the words to talk about. Um, anyway, that's, that's an aside. This isn't a political discussion. This is about taking compassion for yourself. This is a challenging time, particularly with this, this survey going on in our personal spaces that is affecting the way that we see the world and we see the people around us and we see the, the arguments for the yes and the no side uh, in all sorts of different media and uh, from people around us who we may or may not agree with. It's particularly emotive because it's directly affecting people that we know. Um, and if you're dealing with business issues with the NDIS, which is also particularly difficult because of the high level of change and uncertainty and um, we're, you know, we're particularly passionate about the work that we do and the impact it has on the vulnerable people that we work with um, and the changes and how we see that affecting us. These are really challenging times. And I know that I'm really feeling it at the moment that I'm feeling overwhelmed by um, you know the stress on all these different levels um, I'm feeling a little bit disillusioned um, at times and I wonder how I can best support you guys how you can best be you know survive these times and thrive in these times and I just want to share and open up and give yourself compassion for you know, how you're feeling right now, it's okay. Give yourself what you need. Um, what is it that you need right now to be okay, to you get the support that you need um, so that you can not only survive these times but really thrive and be your best.